Hi everyone. Well, when Florida voters went to the polls last week, they approved hiking the state's minimum wage to $15 an hour. But employers should not panic just yet and employees shouldn't be checking their paychecks for a big increase either. It's going to take quite a while to actually get to that $15 mark. Now this constitutional amendment known as Amendment 2 starts out very slowly. In January on New Year's Day, the minimum wage goes up just 9 cents. It'll stay there until September 1st, 2021, where it'll go up to $10 an hour. And then every September after that, they add a dollar until 2026 when they finally get to that $15 mark. Um, it's not quite a done deal yet. The amendment passed, yes, but the fine print on how it's going to work hasn't been written yet. So lawmakers have their work cut out for them. Logging on to Zoom has become second nature to so many of us. A lot of us do it every single day, but have you ever stopped to think about who has access to your meetings? Well, according to the FTC, it's not just you and your colleagues. Um, they submitted a complaint against Zoom claiming that they deceived their customers about their security and their privacy. Now, according to the complaint, Zoom is collecting things like the names of people on the meetings, their usernames, their passwords, their locations, their birth dates, and even more. And then what's even more disturbing is that they are saving things like answers to poll questions that are asked during presentations or instant messages or documents shared during Zoom calls. Plus, they say the encryption is much lower than they lead consumers to believe. And you know that Zoom opener app that pops up when you try to open the program? Apparently, it bypasses Apple and Safari's malware protection, which they're not supposed to do either. So now Zoom has agreed to a settlement where they will make some serious changes and they will change how they operate and how they treat their users. Restaurants are finding themselves on the front lines when it comes to contact tracing. In New Hampshire, restaurant industry leaders came up with the idea of, hey, let's save everybody's name and phone numbers if they dine with us. And then if there is a case, we can reach out to everyone. Uh, the governor thought it was a great idea because based on a CDC study, Adults who test positive for COVID are two times more likely to have visited and eaten in a restaurant within the 14 days before their positive test. So that's going into effect. They're keeping that information for 21 days. Now in Montgomery County, Maryland, which is the largest, most populous county in the state and is right adjacent to DC, the county council has decided they're going to drop occupancy rates for restaurants down to 25%. And they're also requiring every restaurant to keep those names and phone numbers they have to keep theirs for contact tracing for 30 days. And that's going to do it for us today. Check out ebiinc.com for more screening information, and we'll see you back here next week.